Bethesda sent us a package. As you guys can see, this package here is a lot bigger than the previous package we were sent. So I would like to thank Todd Howard and his delivery cat, Skooma. Skooma? She's not, she's a little bit camera shy. Skooma? Thank you so much for delivering this parcel to us, Skooma. My fans appreciate your services. Jesus Christ, Skooma, are you, try are you trying to commit suicide? My goodness. Blimey, mate. What are you doing, eh? I'll, I'll let you spectate. You can stand right here, yeah? There you go. Yeah, that's it. Knock everything over. Right then, let's begin this unboxing. Oh, okay. This is a this is a hefty a hefty sack. So, let's see what we have here. Oh wow, plastic. Wowee. Okay, this is cool. So the first thing we have, if you guys missed, so the first thing we have here is this. Skuma, can you can you stop doing that to my green screen, please? That's very rude. I know Todd Howard sent you and he doesn't like me, but you don't need to sabotage my setup. How dare you? I'm outraged. So this is made by a company... So this... Skuma, you're getting very close. Jesus Christ, Skuma. So as you guys can see in this package, we get some Draga and also a female Dragonborn, because some of you asked me if there was a female version of the Dragonborn, and indeed there is. This is the male version of the Dragonborn I already did a painting tutorial on on my second channel. And if you guys like any of the miniatures you see in today's video, you can actually buy them for yourself. They're linked down below in the description. But uh, you can also check out my tabletop channel if you want a full tutorial on painting these miniatures and the game you can play with them. In the first package we have one Dragonborn Champion of Skyrim, one Draga Overlord, Bleak Fool's Guardian, three Draga Greatsword Warriors and three Skeleton Archers and eight bases. They have like these cool scenic bases that come with them. What else do we have? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. So firstly, we have the Imperial Army. And I actually think this is the character you escape Helgen with. Advar, Hero of Helgen is his name in this game. We also have one Imperial Spell Sword, who is the lady there with the two Firebolt in her hand ready to cast. And we have three Imperial Soldiers with Swords and Shields and five Bases. Very excited to paint that up. And then we have, obviously, Stormcloaks, because I think the theme they're starting out with here is Empire versus imperials so you and your friend could like buy one of these sets and then you could battle each other so in the um stormcloak set we have yarosilad i can't say his name thrice pierced stormcloak commander ralof who's the person you escape helgen with if you make the choice to side with the stormcloaks you guys can see the back of both these packages i love the imperial armor though it just looks but this this is the codex. This is the rule book. So inside this, you basically get everything you need to play the game aside from the miniatures. So this includes all of the cards, the dice, the rules, um, and also some quest scenarios and stuff to play with these miniatures. There's also a starter set that I believe you can get on their website, which I linked down below in the description for you guys to check out. But oh my god, I'm so excited to open this up right now with you guys and check out what's inside. All right, it's unboxing time. Where's my knife? Wait, I still don't have one. Let's unbox it with a brush. Oh yeah, there you go. Once you penetrate it, it's easier. Just ask Lydia. Okay, okay, here we go. I'll, I'll put my brush aside. I probably don't need that right now. Ooh. All right, let me try and open this. There we go, nice. Oh yes, look at that. Elder Scroll. God, it smells really... Oh, it smells good. It smells like, you know when you open a fresh pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Oh, God damn. Escape from Helgen. Is that like the campaign? <gasps> oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is basically just a starter guide on how to start the game, how movement works, um, attacking, and how the cards, the character cards work, and what all their attributes mean. It's It's a guide to the... The new Todd Howard Skyrim game. 
Oh man, Todd Howard, you hero. This is a quest journal. Quite thick, it's quite thick, I like that. So there's a bunch of different scenarios in here, but they've got more coming. This is just like wave one of scenarios um, that they have here. And you can see the credits here. It's made by a company called Modifius, uh, which I'll link below. A uh, bunch of lovely people worked there. This explains how the questing system works by the looks of it and how all the quests can be set up in with deployment zones. I'm just going to reduce the lighting a bit so you guys can actually read this. But you can see you have the objectives here of how many victory points you get per quest and what you need to do to get them. And there is a rule book as well. Okay. Jesus Christ. That, that, that's a thick one, that. Look at that. Oh, damn. This explains all the rules of the game. And also, I know that you can actually play this solo. Um, the cards have their own AI, um, basically how they're going to act when there's no players commanding them. So you can actually play this game solo, which obviously I'll be doing because I have no friends in the real world. And Lydia, um, sadly, can't leave the game to play with me. So I'll be playing... Solo. These are all the tokens. Usually I don't really like uh, miniature games with tokens, but honestly, I found from the Fallout Wasteland Warfare one, once you kind of get into playing it and get used to it, then it is actually quite understandable and it plays very similarly to Skyrim. Oh wow, they also added um, little plastic packages so you can keep all your tokens organized. I really appreciate that guys, that's a good idea. And these are the cards. So this is an event card. An event card. Choose one standing player model, yours or your opponent's. The next time that model is activated, it must pass a strength attribute test or be unable to move. And that's called webs. So I guess that's what happens when you get stuck in the spider webs. And then we have a bunch of item cards. Um, oh, spell and item cards, I guess, because these are upgraded weapons, unarmed. Um, and I think if you give your character this item, you can see the dice just here, then it basically upgrades your character's damage. So you can roll a yellow dice to decide their damage. Um, and if you have six plus strength, you get to roll a red dice, which I think guarantees more damage um, based on how the Wasteland Warfare one used to work. I believe that's probably um, what it means. And there's some more events here. Dragon. Oh, so this is a dragon shout. Perform a melee attack as a free action, even if this model has already attacked. And there's basically give you buffs to your characters, which is pretty awesome. I guess this has a lot more weapons in. Uh, once we open the pack, we can have a look through them. These are obviously the dice that look a little bit weird compared to conventional dice. Uh, okay, so this is, I don't know what this is actually. It looks like dragon tongue. So the dragonborn. And it tells us her... Oh my god, they actually took an in-game screenshot. That's really nice. Um, and then you've got Raloff, who's another character. And it has all their different attributes. This is the name I can say. Yursaralard. Yursalard. Thrice Pierced. Imperial Mage. So like the Imperial Mage has free health, free stamina, four magicka. A height of two? He has a height stat? Bit of a bloody dwarf, isn't she? Everyone, oh, all humans have a height of two. I don't know how height is going to affect people in this game. That's interesting, though. Um, this has a, a unit cost card, so this one doesn't have a cost, but I guess you have to pay septums for armor and um, the ability to shout because the shout ability has a cost next to it. Um, and we also have their weapon strength and what type of weapon they're using. And she has a high intelligence, which I guess governs her alteration skill and her destruction skill, which she has access to. And there's also endurance. And apparently she has light armor skill and a shield ability as well. I obviously don't know what any of this means. She also has restoration too. So the mage seems to offer quite a bit of utility there. But I mean, this looks really cool. I'm, I'm super excited to um, go over to the second channel if you're interested in this kind of stuff. But uh, I'm going to make some other content videos about how this game works. Wait, let's open the Stormcloak one because Stormcloaks are awesome. Ah! 
I want to show you guys these miniatures because uh, they're really nice. These are the plastic. Oh, these are plastic. These aren't actually resin. Ah, they come like this. This is actually, they look quite good quality for plastic. Um, but resin is usually higher quality than plastic. So it's actually quite interesting to see. You can definitely tell the difference. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see the detail there. Um, I don't have any just unpainted... Okay, I've got a resin miniature here, actually, I can show you. So you can see this is like a Games Workshop resin miniature, kind of like the peak of resin detail versus plastic. You can kind of see the difference in detail between both of these. Um, plastic miniatures, they look like they're going to look great on the tabletop, to be honest. Uh, the amount of detail I can see in the quality looks very nice, um, especially considering they're plastic and not resin. However... Resin, while harder to work with, you are going to get a lot more detail out of it, as you can see from this miniature here. And I've also used Modiphius uh, Fallout miniatures and the Dragonborn miniature are all resin uh, to give you, show you guys again. You can get all of these miniatures in resin, and I suggest they're like a serious miniature painter, 100% get them in resin. But um, plastic is decent, like it's definitely not bad at all. I mean, the amount of detail that they've got on these plastic miniatures still very nice i'm still very impressed but i just kind of wanted to compare both of those for you guys make up your own mind there but yeah this is basically what you get and you can stick these together and i'll do a tutorial video um on the tabletop channel about how exactly to do that but thanks for watching guys you can check out the link to the tabletop channel in the description and also a link to buying these miniatures for yourself if you like what you see but i will see you guys in the next video have a great day and goodbye that was really awkward Nice. <laughs> it's huge. I'm just recording a thumbnail. <laughs>